Instant messaging application WhatsApp is in trouble in India after allegations of its platform being used to fuel mob lynchings. WhatsApp is now facing a fresh problem. Who monitors WhatsApp is the question that many are asking. Are they complying with Indian laws and is WhatsApp above, above the law? These are the questions that India's top court has raised. The Supreme Court has issued notices to WhatsApp and the Indian government and sought an explanation on why they are not complying with the law. India's apex court was hearing a petition which alleged that WhatsApp has failed to appoint a grievance officer as required by the law of the land. The petition claimed that WhatsApp is a foreign company with no office or servers in India. It is required to have a grievance officer for users in India. But despite that, WhatsApp is being allowed to operate unchecked in the country. The petition also said uh, that WhatsApp, uh, for all practical purposes, is a telecom service provider and must follow those laws. It alleged that the social media giant does not comply with tax laws either in the country despite over 200 million users using the app. The top court found merit in the petition uh, that was uh, that has now set uh, a four-week deadline for WhatsApp and the Indian authorities to respond. General elections are scheduled to take place in India in 2019 and platforms like WhatsApp will be... Uh, holding the power to influence the voter. The model code of conduct kicks off in 48 hours uh, before what voters cast their ballot and campaigning is not permitted. At such a time, political parties can use WhatsApp and other such applications to sway the voters and influence the results. The petition said that in such a scenario, it is imperative that there be checks and balances in place for WhatsApp. The Indian government has pulled up WhatsApp on multiple occasions. Last week, WhatsApp CEO Chris Daniels met Indian law minister Ravi Shankar Prasad. The minister asked the company to immediately appoint a grievance officer and address concerns of fake messages being circulated on its platform. And that's not all. The firm is also under the scanner for its payments platform. The new feature called in-chat payment allows users to make payments to anyone from their WhatsApp contact list. It can be used to send and receive money and that is adding to WhatsApp's troubles. The petition filed in India's top court alleged that since WhatsApp did not have an in their office as mandated by the information technology minister, it should not be allowed to go ahead with the payment service in the country. Social networking giant Facebook, which owns WhatsApp, has appointed a grievance redressal officers, but they are based outside of India. The petition claimed that in order to provide payment services in the country, WhatsApp must be directed to store data in Indian servers. This is as per the rules of the Reserve Bank of India. The petition also claimed that the application must pay taxes on income uh, which is generated due to its operations in India. Given the user base of WhatsApp in India, which is its biggest market, the petition aims to make the firm more accountable. But what is the WhatsApp in-chat payments feature all about? The trials of the service were initiated in uh, February this year. The feature is compatible with the unified payments interface, which means that money can be transferred without having to furnish a bank account number. It supports payments from several top banks and is accessible on a 24-7 basis through the year. Users need not opt out of the chat window to transfer money. The process is considered fast and convenient. Sending money would be as easy as sending a photograph or a message to your WhatsApp contact.